Hello and welcome back to Jardev. Today I'm going to be playing a bit of Hearthstone. Uh, now I love Hearthstone. Hearthstone is definitely one of my most played games. Like uh, I've probably only played Civ 5 more than Hearthstone. And I had a request to play a bit of Hearthstone by Denis Markov. And I thought why not? I play it pretty much every day anyway. So uh, I'm just gonna... I thought I'd just show off a couple of my decks and play a couple of rounds with them. So the first deck I'm going to be using is my Mage deck. Uh, which I love. I I got like the basic idea from uh, I don't remember their name. Someone on Hearthpone.com, and you can see it here. We've got two mirror images, two clockwork gnomes, uh, two leopard gnomes. Um, we'll just go through them all. Two mana worms, two undertakers, two frost bolts, two unstable portals. God, I love unstable portal. It's probably my favorite card from GVG, except for Anoyatron. Anoyatron's the best. Uh, I've got only one of those. My God, what is wrong with me? Uh, one Blood Mage Sound Loss, two Echoing Uses, two Hunter Creepers, two Knife Jugglers, Loot Hoarder, Micro Sheen, two Hobgoblins, these are the most important part of the deck, uh, two Fireballs and two Jeeves. Now Hobgoblin, uh, it's an epic card from uh, GVG, and whenever you play a one attack minion you give it plus two plus two, and if we go through here, uh, this is one attack, 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 uh, this is one attack, and Jeeves is one attack. So basically the idea with the deck is to get Hobgoblin down, like, sort of like mid-game towards late-game-ish, and then if you play like an Echoing Ooze, you've got two, three, fours at the end of the turn, which is beautiful, and they also go really well with Knife Juggler. So you probably get the basic idea behind the deck from the deck list, or from the card list, so I will just, uh, I'll go play a quick game with it. We'll probably do a couple of games with it. Uh, next time I'll probably show off my awesome Paladin deck. I love that deck. But uh, but my mage deck's my favorite. Alright, Priest. I'm only level 19 right now because I've just been playing like a complete bitch recently. <laughs> um, we're going to get rid of both of these for now. You want to save the, the one attacks for when we can properly synthesize them with Hobgoblin. And this is a good first turn drop and so is Loot Hoarder. Yeah, I have like this uh, this demon warlock deck, and uh, like I I got to school a couple of days ago, and I thought I, you know I'll just play a bit of Hearthstone on my iPad, and I think I played about nine games, and I won two. It was just appalling. So that's why I'm such a low rank right now. Uh, I never usually get like too high in the ranks. I usually stop around fifteen or something. Um, so first thing we're gonna do. Because this can kill either this one or this one, we're just gonna we're gonna frostbolt it. This is a pretty dangerous card in priest decks, especially nowadays with the the shadow puncher thing. Um, like whenever something's healed, uh, you can draw a card with this, and the shadow puncher will deal damage to uh, to something on my side. Ooh, cogmaster, just cogmaster? Yes, no. That's that's an interesting play. This is a pretty good move. Obviously we've got the old Death Rattle, even though Undertaker was nerfed, he's still he's still really good, especially with cheap Death Rattles like this. I mean it's pretty good. Well, that was two mana for two two attack things. And Undertaker can safely take out this Cogmaster. Presuming of course that he doesn't play anything. Ooh. He's still not gonna buff that thing, he's just gonna trade it, okay. Finicky Cloakfield. Eh, that might be useful. That's probably useful to save for Hobgoblin. Uh, no, I was going to say we could get Hobgoblin out next turn and cloak him, uh, but we don't have enough mana for that. So next we'll probably just play Loot Hoarder, depending on what we get. Loot Hoarder is just good to have a bit of draw. Um, obviously Clockwork Gnome is probably better than him. Ooh. Uh, I'm just going to go with Loot Hoarder, because we'll save this for trying to synthesize with old hobby hobgoblin I don't think I had any hobgoblins when I heard about this deck and I had to uh, had to buy both of these like with crafting dust I had like I had 1600 dust saved up I was saving up for Isera before GVG came out and then it came out and of course I had to, to spend everything on cool cards like hobgoblins and quartermasters for the paladin deck um this one's dangerous, so we're going to do that to get the card. We're going to just get rid of him, and then we're going to play Unstable Portal and hopefully get something we can play. 
Yes! Oh, Mech Warper. That is very nice. I don't, I don't actually have any Mech Warpers in this deck. Um, because it's not, it's not like solely a mech deck. I don't have any of the, the, the chopper things. What are they called? Are they choppers? I don't know. That is a weird card to play now. Just wasted like one of the strongest battle cries there is. That's strange. So, am I going to risk the Hobgoblin now? Oh, I'm tempted to do the whole problem with Echoing Use right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save these fireballs for just like face damage. He's probably gonna take out the Hobgoblin, but that means we've still got these guys on the field. And they're very strong. Unless he's got Holy Nova, which I think only does two damage, so we should be fine with everything there. He's not, like, directly going for that. He's not going straight away. What's he doing? Go and play your card. <laughs> oh, here we go. Deal one damage. What? He didn't kill the Hobgoblin. Amazing. Holy crap. Okay, so more synthesis, synthesis there. Um, should we stealth him? We could probably stealth him. Uh, so we stealth him, play Lepronome, and fireball this motherfucker. Actually, did I want to stealth him? Can he attack? Will that break stealth? It probably breaks stealth, doesn't it? Oh, it does! <laughs> that was stupid. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. He's, he, he's pretty much served his purpose right now. Yeah, he's done his value. Even though we're getting... That's gone now. That's sad. Yeah, now he gets him. So we've got two fireballs left. Many ones golden. How embarrassing. I'm almost at the second one. The second golden fireball. That was a bit of an annoying turn, actually. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna frostball that so I can keep a bit more damage on the field. And we'll just do that. We'll keep saving those fireballs. I'm quietly confident about this round. About this game, it should should go okay. I had like a, a Paladin game earlier this night where I, I thought it was a guaranteed win and I just got destroyed. So it's, it's never guaranteed, although... Oh. He almost brought himself down to, to lethal. I almost had lethal. Oh, I've got lethal. <laughs> well played. Boom. That's the, the old Hobgobbler deck. Pretty good, eh? I'm gonna do one more game with it. Look, we're so close. Actually, we're not that very close. I want that golden fireball, though. God, I want it. <laughs> Alright, another priest. And another great starting hand. I don't even want to trade anything away except for Hobgoblin. I love Anoyatron. He's definitely one of my favorite cards ever. <laughs> He's so great. Frostbolt, that's pretty decent. This is a great start, especially when we've got coin. Is someone injured? Every every priest will always start the game off pretty much exactly the same way. They'll always just North Star Cleric. Bring out your dead. So we'll do that. Then, if he wants, he can kill kill my uh, my clockwork gnome with his nurture cleric, and then probably heal it. That'll be a bit annoying. <laughs> oh, he's got something for him. Oh, this is exactly the same as last game, isn't it? Pretty much. There's nurture cleric and then shadow word pain. Was that golden? Hmm, this is quite a high level priest. That does leave him open to having that killed, but I don't get to play anything this turn. So that's, uh, that kind of sucks. Break these fucking windows. Fuck your windows. Holy shit, a Death Lord. You don't really see many of those around. That is an annoying card. That's a very annoying card. Just gonna frostbolt that. Stop that from attacking. I don't really have any, like, 
like high value minions that I could get out of this. Like the highest I have is like a four drop, which is Jeeves. <laughs> oh fuck! I forgot he's just gonna hide behind that, isn't he? Fuck! This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> um, okay, an unstable portal. I might get something amazing. Not amazing. But I'm gonna freeze that. And we'll get mana tied. So we can get the card. And he can't actually kill this right now. So it's not the worst. It's not the worst, but this is proving very difficult to get through. And I've already thrown two thro frost bolts into it. Which I'm very sad about. Well, this was a three drop originally. And it was zero for me. It's pretty alright. This guy's taking his time, he's gonna heal the Death Lord again. Oh, this is ridiculous how much I'm having to put into this. I just can't seem to get rid of it. Although, this changes now with the old Annoyotron. Boom! Annoyotron is looking pretty decent, 3 4. And we get a card. He's. he's not gonna be able to get through that Annoyotron, probably. Unless he's got myth, mystical priest spells. And break the rest of these windows. There we go. <laughs> this guy's, uh, he's taking his time. Oh, here we go, breaking that. Get out of here. Ooh, that's an interesting card. In the light's name. Oh shit. Classic priest card. That is a really, really annoying field. <laughs> Haven't he already healed? No, he hasn't. Oh god, so he gets a card. He gets attack on that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, he's using, uh, using all his time on that, isn't he? Oh my god, no way. Whenever anything is healed. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. Hopefully this explodes. <laughs> 13 attack. No. Okay. <laughs> I can't get to that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, well. I'm gonna throw... Uh, let's get all of these out, so when he does get through this, he's gonna have a hell of a field to deal with. And I'm... I'm just gonna leave it up to him. Ah oh, shit, he's gonna heal that, isn't he? That was stupid. He's gonna heal that, get another card. <laughs> he just had to discard Prophet Valen. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god, he's through already. I've got quite a nice field. I love that I've still got this going. That is a weird card to play there. Ugh. That fucking attack. Can you imagine if you got like the... Is it double attack or double health? I think it's double health. That'd be ridiculous, so just double attack and just like one shot me. Even if I lose this, which I'm probably gonna do. Fucking hell. It's still been quite an interesting. Quite an interesting game. Still discarding stuff. 19 attack! Oh god. Ow. Good god. <laughs> this went so badly. I can't even get through this, can I? No, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. I can do seven damage, and then... No, I can't I can't do anything. Uh, yeah, I've just lost. That is ridiculous. Okay, well, let's get through these. Let's see what he gives us. 
that's not bad. If I can get a knife to hit this. Yes! Oh my god, we got rid of it. Fuck that thing. Fucking hell, fuck that thing. Um, that. Does he have lethal? Five. I'm going to say probably not. Let's see what he does. My hand is too full. Oh god, he got a Nasera as well. Oh yeah, he's totally got lethal. Wow, he went through so many cards there. That was ridiculous. Fucking hell, that round. Let's do one more. Alright, a rogue this time. That's kind of better. We've got this combo again. And we'll keep old Frostbolt, because it's quite useful. This combo is quite susceptible to rogue cards, though. Because there's, um... Shiv, I think, does two damage to an undamaged thing. Is that Shiv? Oh, no, no, that's Backstab. Um, Alright, let's just Undertaker. It, I don't know if you guys know about this, but it took me ages to find out about this. If you click this thing four times, it just floats off. Like, I only learned about that a couple of weeks ago, and I've played this for over a year. Ooh, we didn't have anything. Ooh, Unstable Portal. Ooh, Blood Mage Sound Loss. <laughs> it's Death Rattle. It's good. Oh, and Frostbolt is buffed. I'm pleased with that start. Pleased as punch, you could say. Turn that light off. No, this light. Close that door. Open that door. Ooh, there goes Undertaker. Uh, okay, this works pretty well. We waste one of the damage. That's not really a problem. Because we get to keep old Thanos alive, and we buffed Mana Worm by one. And next turn we should be able to Unstable Portal. Fucking love this card. I love how often you get legendaries with it as well. It's so fun how we're going to lose Thanos. Are we? Oh no, he's just going to straight up murder my Mana Worm. That sucks. Uh, unstable portal. Ooh! Ooh, that is a nice card to have right now. And we're just gonna do that. Which means I'm gonna lose field advantage, I guess. But it's pretty shit value if he trades 3 1 into a 1 1. <laughs> I can live with that. Okay, don't play like anything this turn, please. <laughs> It costs one less, plus it has three off the total because of Unstable Portal. That's awesome. So many Go on, just don't play anything. Just like, attack me and attach a new knife, you're done. You could time out if you want, I suppose. Ring the gong at him. Oh, here we go. Nope. Oh, we almost, almost did something. Oh. That's Shiv. Oh, he got a card back. Yay. Come on, just attack me and then do this. That would be an amazing move. He did. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That means we can have... Fuck, we can have, like, Clockwork Giant and Micro Machine. Because why not? What was his cost originally? 12. So he went down to 9, and then because he had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Yeah, it went down to three. Awesome. Is he going to concede to that? Probably not. Because he can just do, like, return that to my hand. Or, like, just destroy enemy minion. Because assassinate's a five drop, and that just destroys an enemy minion. He hasn't done that immediately, though. So it's quite possible he doesn't have assassinate. If I was him... And I saw that, and I had assassinate, I would just assassinate immediately. He's gonna shiv me to get a card. Hoping for assassinate for next turn, probably. Ha, this guy's toast. <sighs> Pretty good move. Oh. I know. You gonna attack? Nope. Gonna save the durability. Why not? Let's get a couple of clockwork gnomes down. 
And loot hoarder. Right to the face and boom, eight damage to the face, yes. Good work, clockwork gnome. Clockwork giant, you're a clockwork gnome. Yeah, gnome and giant. Eh, they kind of look similar. Actually, they do, they've got little... You can see he's got like a little V on his head and this guy, you can just see it in the background. Not in the background, like at the very top there, he's got a little V. It's like his eyebrows or something. Hmm. hmm. Is that assassinate? No, Tinker's Sharp Sword Oil, okay. Oh, to buff up this motherfucker. Oh no, he's gonna kill my Clockwork Giant. Still eight damage. What? Are you an idiot? Oh. No, he's not an idiot. He's pretty good, actually. That's annoying. Now that's alive. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do this, because I feel threatened by it. <laughs> we're gonna play these. Do that. There we go. Well, that was annoying. He turned that around really, really easily. <laughs> I got 8 damage off on him, but he like destroyed my field and fucked me up with damage. My eyes oh great. <laughs> More health. Oh, hello little guys. Oh god, there goes my field again. <laughs> I've probably lost this one as well. This is just embarrassing, to be honest. <laughs> Not playing very well. I'm getting shit draw as well, so it doesn't help. I'm about to take a shitload of damage. He's gonna half my health, actually. He's gonna win the turn after this if I don't draw something fucking decent. <laughs> God, it's not taking so much time. <laughs> oh, should I play this card? Oh, Ezra Drake. Oh, I suppose I could play it. I'm getting salty. <laughs> I thought I had this game in the bag. Rogue turns do actually take a really long time. Jesus Christ. Has he won this turn? No, he's only got 10. He's won next turn though. And I'm not gonna be able to draw anything to counter this. Woo, a frost bolt. That sucks. Well, that was my Hobgobbler Mage deck. If you guys enjoyed this, I can definitely do some more. I can show off my awesome Quarter Muster Paladin deck and my uh, Murloc Shaman deck. I like the idea of my Demon deck, um, but I lose quite a bit with it. And this Druid's deck's not very good at all. It's interesting, but it's not very good. So let me know if you enjoyed it and want to see me play some more Hearthstone. Uh, but for now, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Oop. You don't actually have to roll into there. You can. Ooh. You can just walk under him. It's that easy. Oh, and he's torn his arm off now. He does that when he gets to half health, and it just means he has a bit more range.